730 92.1 WROI, WROI FM.com. Streaming audio live, RTC Channel 5. Streaming audio and video live, RTC Channel 4. Hi, Chris. Good morning, fellas. Hey, nice to have Chris back in the studio this morning. And if you have a smartphone or an Android device, you can download the TuneIn Radio app or an app similar to that. Take us wherever you happen to be going, and I usually say at this time to First Federal Savings Bank, but I'm going to put that off for just a moment because I want to remind everybody you're not going to school right now. If you're in Rochester Valley, North Miami, Eastern Pulaski, Casting, Culver, Warsaw, or Bremen, you are all on a two-hour delay. With that said, we say good morning to Dick Belcher. From that's Minnesota. a windfall for those kids, isn't it? <laughs> they're hard. happy. They can sleep in. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It just made your program that much more popular. Oh, yeah. Think well, about that. A lot more people listening and watching. <laughs> that's that's probably true. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great weekend. Sure. Uh, lots of football. We're in the big season now. Exactly. Colts going to play uh, Yeah, they'll play Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Detroit. Jim, yeah, Jim Caldwell and the Detroit Lions. Who's favored? I think the Lions are at this point, but it's going to be a close game. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you Colts can't lose at home. Well, they've got on a lot open, of injuries. On their open. They've, oh, got, a, they've got a lot uh, of injuries. Lying, lying, lying. <laughs> oh, we've got to start out. You know, we got we got to look at the the bleak side, then we pick up the positive from there. See. Okay. All right. Okay. Sunday is the 15th anniversary of 9/11. It is. Can we imagine that? It is. Woo. 15 years ago. You know, the, they have found the real flag that was yes. uh, uh, that was uh, yes. there that made so, somebody took it and it, but they identified it for sure and they got it in a yep. museum. Yeah. On the uh, 911 museum. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, did you watch any of the Commander in Chief debate? I hate to admit it, but I did not. I didn't either. Oh, okay. Well, I figured as a veteran you would probably watch that. I, in fact, I'm surprised you weren't involved in that. Yeah. Well, I probably called, but I wasn't available. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's probably wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I, I, I was really amused that yesterday morning I listened to uh, another radio station called uh -huh. Public. Uh -huh. And uh, they uh, they were interviewing an admiral, that an admiral and and generals, eighty eight of them have endorsed Trump. Yes, they have, right? And they were talking about it. And then the next thing I know that uh, that uh, Mr. Hill Miss Hillary has ninety five retired generals and admirals. So she's up wow. ten. She's up ten. So this is going to be a race to see the retired generals and admirals and. All that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Donald's going to fire the president generals and bring his own in. Bring his own in. Where's he get him? I have no idea. Mm. Same place the other generals came from. <laughs> West Point. <huh? laughs> right. Okay, a little trivia this morning. Feed Our Starving Children will be packing uh, meals for the fourth year next weekend. And we're going to talk a little more about that. Okay. Last year, in year 15, how many meals did they pack? Was it 50,000, 100,000, or 150,000? Wow, that's a lot, no matter which of those you mm -hmm. choose. It is. <clears throat> okay, uh, the Rochester Zebras are at Whitco tonight. They are. And that's delayed at 30 minutes. 7.30 starting. Yeah. 7.30 kickoff. Caston is at Pioneer Southwood at North Miami. <clears throat> Volleyball team still undefeated. Playing well. Yeah. In uh, college football, uh, Purdue plays Cincinnati at noon tomorrow. IU at 4 o'clock, they play Ball State. Ball State. Mm -hmm. In state rivalry. And Notre Dame uh, played Nevada. Yeah, the powerhouse from Nevada. What? Powerhouse from Nevada. Well, I don't make fun of it because. <laughs> I mean, you know. Purdue plays them in two weeks. You know, <laughs> Nevada? Yeah. Oh, do they really? Wow. We're They're counting. Make, we're counting on a win. Making the Indiana circuit this year, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> I see uh, Notre Dame has decided on a quarterback now, Kaiser. Right. Well, he had a good game last week against Texas. Well, you know, he they announced early on. We talked about this two weeks ago. That right. He was going to use two quarterbacks. Yeah, that doesn't work very well. Purdue right. tried that here a year or so ago, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen it work. 
<laughs> I could have. Well, told if it can't work in Purdue, it can't work anywhere. I, I could have told <laughs> Kelly that. <laughs> I'm sure you could have. Okay, now the really, really big show Saturday is Virginia Tech and Tennessee. Okay. You know about that game? I do not. <clears throat> They're playing at the Bristol Stadium, uh, Bristol Speedway. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And they're okay. expecting 150,000. Oh, wow. Is that Would that be a record for a college yeah, game? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's what they're going for. I'm not sure how they can get 150,000 wow. people around there. <clears throat> Unless the NASCAR people think it's a, it's a, <laughs> a race. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, you've got a big golf tournament going on in Indianapolis. Yeah, crooked stick. <clears throat> They've given some awards to Pete Dye and his right. wife. You know, uh, she's 89 and he's 91 or yeah. 2. Still designing still golf. Still out there. See, That's crooked right. stick, I think, was, was their first. Wow. That they did way back when. Okay, let's get into some upcoming events, and then we're going to talk to Melinda. Okay. And Melinda, get that microphone over there right All right, in front she's, of you. she's getting ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bolton County United Way kicks off its 2016 campaign season with a free lunch. Served 11 to 2 today. Today. tri Kappa Sorority is partnering with Ivy Tech for the annual chair affair fundraiser Saturday at uh, Sean Dollar. How are we pronounce it? Schnabeltier. Schnabeltier. Yeah. Yeah. Beginning at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have 30 chairs for auction. Yeah, well, that's a cool event. Maybe, maybe you should go down there and buy three of them to replace these three here. <laughs> are you tired of the stools now? Is yeah, that what you're trying to tell yeah, me? Okay. Yeah. Get a lounge right. or something. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, this is a big fundraiser for both of them for uh, college scholarships and. Uh, and Johnny and Sally will look. Uh, they're going to yeah. do the auction. They're going to do the auction. You bet. They may even bring their twins. They might. Purdue Extension Annual Ag Outlook Breakfast is 7.30 a.m. Thursday, September the 15th at the Fulton County Fairgrounds with Ag Econom Economist Chris Hurt. He's going to tell us all about commodity prices and land prices. Yeah, they do that every year, but that's a good event. Yeah, yeah. Grace United Methodist Church serves its annual mission fundraising lunch in 11 to 1 this Thursday, September the 13th at the church. Delivery and carryouts are available. The fourth annual Habitat for Humanity Golf Scramble is Saturday at the Round Barn Golf Club. We had them on last week, talked about that. Uh, I was talking to Mason Heidi this week. There's still some slots okay. available. And the, the weather forecast is great, so get a foursome and Get out there. Uh, and that helps over. Habitat, too. Yeah. Fulton County Public Library Gallery has an arts artist reception September 16th from 4.30 to 6 for Elaine Powers of Winnemac. Her work is on display at the library now. A special showing of the newly completed documentary, Like Birds in the Windstorm, will be next Friday evening, September 16th at the Fulton County Museum. Is that right? Sure is. Okay, yeah. we're going to have, have you tell us a little more about that. The documentary will be available on DVD at the Trail of Courage uh, September 17th and 18th. And speaking of Trail of Courage, we have Melinda Klinger here, who's the head person out at the museum and uh, been there many, many years. And uh, welcome. We're glad to have Thank you, you here. Okay, now tell us first of all about the uh, birds and the bees. Oh no, it's the live birds in a wind, <laughs> windstorm. Um, there was a grant that um, was gotten from the Citizen Potawatomi Nation um, that Susan Green, who lives here locally, um, took and combined different footage from all the different years of the um, Trailative Car Caravan that started in 1988. Um, and it shows a lot of the different um, Potawatomi that have been here over the years and their ancestors were actually on that force removal and so it includes a lot of those. Um, she's done it into a documentary to help document that time period um, of when the Potawatomi were actually removed here from here in 1838. So that will be Friday night at 7 in the Richland Center Hall um, will be shown and then like it says 
you can buy DVDs there at the Trail of Courage as well. Okay, now tell us about the 41st annual Trail of Courage. The next Saturday and Sunday, it's September 17th and 18th. The hours are 10 to 6 on Saturday, 10 to 4 on Sunday. Um, we will host and um, honor Rocky Barrett from the Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Um, his family was the Peltier and Barasa family um, that was actually on the removal in 1838. Um, this year we are also having um, relatives from Father Pettit, who was the, the priest from Notre Dame that actually went on the removal, uh, Julian Pettit and his grandfather, A. Andre, are coming from France. Wow. So they're coming to be a part of the festival. And then we've always got new and, and, and interesting people that have not been here before um, coming to help to commemorate the time period in 1838 or 1830s um, before the Potawatomi were removed. So um, this year coming back, we had last year the Anderson Marching Bagpiper Band from Anderson, Indiana. Um, they are coming for both days this year. These young kids are coming in and they're, they're dressed with their bagpipes and will be performing at opening and closing ceremonies and different times on the stage. Um, there will be, of course, our Aztec dancers, um, the River Valley Colonials, a lot of the old and new um, people that have been here over the years. Kim Hoover and, and Shirley Needham will be doing the animal rehabil rehabilitation um, talks. Um, so always something going on. And of course, we always have our foods cooked over wood fires. Um, those are done by the local nonprofit groups. Um, now, what's the, some of these foods that they're going to have? We have um, Jackson's with their barbecue. Um, five friends have apple sausage, um, Capa Delta Fi with their chicken and noodles, the American Cherokee with their fry bread and, and tacos, um, Knights of Columbus with um, corn on the cob. Um, the Rotary this year is having their turkey legs and pork chops. Wow. And then the Historical Society does three different booths, and we have the buffalo burgers, ham and beans, and stew at one, potato chips at another, and then apple dumplings and ice cream will be together this year <laughs> in one booth. And we okay, like to keep a busy. Of, <laughs> a lot of food. Yes. A lot of good food. Well, you guys do a great job out there, and it's a great educational thing. Yes. Uh, now, you got some uh, school kids coming in Friday? On Friday, on, we have school day, and so the public's not invited that day, just the kids um, with the parents and the bus drivers. And we do educational one-on-one -on -one type demonstrations, and then they get a, a feel of what the Trail of Courage is like so they can go home and have their parents maybe bring them back for sure. the weekend. Okay, how many... Uh, children are you expecting on Friday? I know last year we had right around 1,500, so it'll probably be something similar. Wow. Okay. That's a great event. Okay. Now, I know you got a, a drive out there for some matching funds. Tell us about that. We received a grant from the Indian Arts Commission, and our part to match, uh, the grant was for $3,939, I believe. Um, we have to match that locally, dollar for dollar for us to receive those funds. This helps to pay for all these programs that we are bringing in to um, be part of the entertainment for the weekend. So if you can, you know, even give $5, that helps. It all adds up. And so we have a fundraising going on out there. Um, you can do the matching grant, and we are also um, seeking sponsorships for the trail to help also with some of that. Is there a deadline for that grant, Melinda? Um, we will take money even after the trail. Okay. I mean, we okay. just have to match it. Okay. <clears throat> she never turns money in. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to Melinda Klinger, who's the director of the uh, Fulton County Museum and the head person with the Trail of Courage Rendezvous, which is next uh, fr uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday for kids and Saturday and Sunday for the public. Correct. Right. Thank you for stopping by this Thank morning you. and sharing with, uh, with us about the great things coming on out okay. there. Just a few years, you'll be able to hit that 50 number. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sign-ups are underway for any local group wanting to participate in the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce annual chick, uh, the chili cook-off, October the 8th. Yeah. That's coming. That is. Right indeed. here on 8th Street. That's right. Bring it on. We're ready. Okay. The uh, Friends of the Fulton County Public Library will participate in a fundraising sponsored by the Rochester Dairy Queen on Monday, 10% of sales. 
uh, from four until closing will be given to that group. Chamber of Commerce taught, uh, is having their after hours uh, uh, coming up next Tuesday at Tops. Okay. And you'll get to tour their new facility. They have. They're doing a lot of cool things over there. Yeah. 115,000 square feet right. they've added to that uh, operation there. And uh, so stop out there. I'm sure anybody's uh, welcome. Okay, now did you know this? What happened 240 years ago, Tom? No. No? Okay. I didn't think, I didn't know this either. <laughs> from the USA Today, Today. Okay. Okay. 240 years ago today, the Continental Congress changed the United Colonies name to United States. Really? Wow. Yeah, really. That's impressive. Yeah. Okay, some flowers this morning to uh, Carl and Rose Van Meter's yard and garden on Wabash Avenue. Flowers. Well done. Garden. Well, get it? Makes sense. You get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Also, uh, <clears throat> the the survey, monkey survey, for businesses here in town. Right. Flirt has won that. Right. <laughs> and uh, second is Gerettis, and, and third is Inyards. Well, congratulations, congratulations to those Congratulations to them. Okay, some money news. Right. Have, have you ordered your new Apple 7 or uh, iPhone? No, I have not. $600. I don't think it's that much different from the Apple 6, is it? Oh, it's much better. <laughs> it's, it's, for, you, you have yours, in other words. For, for one thing, it's waterproof. Is it? So, yeah. So okay. if you drop it in the toilet, it's yeah. Okay. But 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 if we don't drop the other one, then it's waterproof too. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, this is a wireless technology Got it. and all that stuff. So. Got it. No headphone <clears throat> jack on it though. <clears throat> they, you're going to have to buy these because they're going to have to pay Ireland 14, <laughs> 14 billion dollars. <laughs> <clears throat> and I, and Ireland says we don't want it. <laughs> we don't want it. We don't want it. Nah. Uh, a South Korean shipper is, uh, has filed bankruptcy. Okay. And uh, there's lots of ships out there with gifts from Santa Claus coming in for Christmas. Oh no! Yeah. Just got kind of lost mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. What's Santa going to do about that? I don't know. This is this could be a real we, catastrophe. We, we should have Santa on next week to find out. <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, Santa doesn't have a smartphone. He's got the dumb phone. Oh, he's got a dumb yeah. phone. Yeah. Well, uh, I announced this with a little trepidation is that, uh, well, uh, but it's big news. Wells Fargo is firing $185 million over bonus accounts, right. charging uh, uh, undisclosed fees and so forth. Making them up, in other words. Yeah, 108. Of course, they probably made five times that much with these undisclosed <laughs> fees. <laughs> Okay, the Dow was down 46 yesterday, uh, closed at 18,526, and uh, interest rates pretty flat. Not much happening. No, not much happening. Uh, uh, you can sit down, Dana. <laughs> Come on in. Come up. We, oh, we you're going to stand up. Another okay. guest coming in. Yeah. Okay, at First Federal, we're open today from 5 until uh, 8.30. ATM is always open, and you can back... Uh, with uh, us anytime, bank with us anytime uh, with our mobile apps. How's that new uh, ATM working out for you? Pretty good. good. Is it good? We're trying to get pizzas in there. but <laughs> that'd, that'd be nice. Well, yeah. No, that would be. You get a slice of pizza and you do your banking. That, I, that, that's a good idea. Elkhart Branch is having customer appreciation day. Okay. If you want something free, you can go up there and get today and get some uh, lunch. Mortgage lending is our specialty, and local loan servicing has been our business for 50 years. If you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, make an appointment with John Schaefer in Dalton or Rochester office or Bill Morris in Winnemac. We service all of our loans locally, and uh, when you call First Federal, you never get a recording, you get a live body, and uh, we like to keep that uh, local uh, community bank spirit. Uh, we're kind of old-fashioned in that area. Hey, so, it's okay. Uh, Good way to do business. Three nine 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 two seven. Yeah. Okay. 
That's our NML stuff. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. filling you're, you're in. Welcome. You're keep welcome. Keep me out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want any issues yeah. with this program any more than what we already have. Dana Markley, <laughs> whose birthday is today? Happy, yeah. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Glad to have you. All right. Now, you represent the uh, Starving Children uh, Mobile Pack. Tell us about that and the church that's involved with this. Well, it's Feed My Starving Children, and it's at Mill Creek Missionary Church on 25 going towards Warsaw. Um, they It was founded in 1987, and what we basically do is have a group of people volunteer to help pack food um, to send to foreign countries to feed their starving children. The packet includes rice, soy, vitamins, and dehydrated vegetables. Ah, very good. And here we have a picture yeah, of it. There we do. They're heat sealed. We pack 36 to a box, wrap the box, box on skids, and we ship them out. Where do you send them? Um, we send them all over. There's to Africa. We send them to Jamaica. Af um, Belize, Hades, okay. everywhere, over 40 countries oh, we wow. too, so yeah. What's the national organization, right, didn't they do this throughout the U.S.? Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, your church started doing this uh, four years ago? Four years ago, um, and it's First Federal's fourth year that we've done this. Um, we, Over the time, we've fed over 300 children for three years. Wow. So plus some, and there's a lot of the Rochester Riddle School fourth graders. They come every year during school and pack. And then we also have the Rochester football team. They've volunteered every single year for the last four years. Excellent. And First Federal has also. Okay, now uh, you're talking about First Federal, the volunteers. How many you got for this year? Well, since it's uh, the bank's 50th anniversary, I'm trying to get 50 <laughs> volunteers. And right now I have 48. Very cool. So I need to get two more two before more. next Friday. <laughs> and we're, we go Friday from 5.30 to 7.30. There's two-hour shifts. They start Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday mornings. So, And it'll be next weekend. Okay, now so, uh, some people out there, I know you got a lot of volunteers, but you need a lot of volunteers we do. to, do, to yes. do this. And, yes. Uh, people that may be interested in volunteering, uh, what should they do? They should get a hold of Scott Sturk, and they could email him at s Sturk, which would be s s t e r k at warsawschools.org. Hey, you can always use some help there. Always use some help. Is it an assembly line kind of thing? Yeah. What we basically do is put like four ta or four tables together, and there's a person that would set the bag under the funnel. One person would pour the rice in, another vegetables, soy, then. Right the dehydrated vegetables. Okay, now where, where do you get the ingredients? Where do those come from? They come from the mobile pack. They come from Feed My Starving Children. They come in, set up on a Thursday, and then You're they provide- You're talking about the national organization. Yes. But where do they, where do they get the, uh, the actual ingredients that they're putting in all this stuff, you know? That I do not know. Okay. <laughs> Farms in northern Indiana. Right? Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, it's a great, pro a you, great program, and I know you've done a lot of work on it. Yes. And, uh, appreciate that. Can you use cash donations as well, Dan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, she brought up cash. You brought up cash donations. <laughs> cash donations. Yeah. Okay. Well, as we have done several times on this show, we, we have. We have a favorite charity for every month and uh, you're our favorite charity for this month and <laughs> so i'd like to present to you from first federal savings bank a check for one thousand dollars i'm sure they'll greatly appreciate it thank you very much yes. great. Yeah, how did the church ever get started with this how did they ever decide um, to do this Scott project? Stark adopted okay. a child from a foreign country okay. and he wanted to help out so we just he just decided we wanted to get together and have people the community come in and, and help starving children obviously the need is there yes yes it is throughout the world yes and they have them all over they have them in Illinois Minnesota okay. so they have them in several states It'd be interesting to see how much they put together nationwide that, because yes. it would have to be a staggering number I would think yes 
Okay, now tell us again the, the dates and where where this will be done. It's at Mill Creek Missionary Church off of 25 heading towards Warsaw, right next to Hardesty Printing. New building. Yes, brand new building. It's really nice. Um, it's Thursday, this, thir this coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning. Okay. Then we pack it all up and we put it in a truck and send it? Yes. Okay. They put it in boxes, wrap this box, put boxes on the skids, wrap the skids, and put it in trucks and send it on its way. Off it goes, goes to an airplane somewhere and takes off. There you go. Are there, are there recipients on the other end who know that this is coming then and take yes. care of the distribution of it? Yes. I mean, you always want to make sure when you're doing something nice like that that it gets to the proper people. Yes, Absolutely. and it does. It does. Excellent. Thank you for stopping by this morning. And Melinda, thank you for stopping by and uh, uh, telling us about the rendezvous coming up this weekend. 41. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. Very good. Okay, our trivia this morning was feeding uh, our uh, starving children. How many packets did we do here locally last year? Was I thought it was cool that Dana didn't tell us that because she knew that was the yeah, trivia question. 50,000, 100,000, or 150,000. Oh Chris knows. Uh, I'm going to take high guess and go 150,000. He says 100. I'm going to say 100. He's right. He was right last week. This isn't know. fair. Right. Actually, it was 147,744. I rounded wow. it up. So. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. That, that is very impressive. That's Congratulations. A that's great. Okay, let's close with this quote from Henry Ford If everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. He had a lot of good statements like that, didn't he? Outstanding guy. He, <laughs> he and Edison and a few other guys like that. They were amazing. That's right. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. And uh, Dana, thank you. Melinda, thank you for being here this morning on the First Federal Program. Chris, as always, nice to have you in the studio. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender. First Federal Savings Bank is Rochester's only locally owned bank. Stop in today to start a new checking or savings account. Learn more about our online banking options or sign up for Go Green Checking, the checking account that pays you back every time you use your card. Stop in today to see why local banking is better banking. First Federal Savings Bank, serving Rochester and surrounding communities since 1966.